Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you uh, in the dashboard how can you transform an ordinary bar chart from what you see on the left to the semi-circular bar chart that you see on the right. And I'm going to show you how to do it both vertically and horizontally. So actually I have done um, two videos on how to transform a bar chart into a win rose chart uh, before. So if you're interested, you are welcome to watch that. You don't need to watch them to watch today's video. Uh, but basically the difference here is that this is a full circle, the win rose chart. And what we are doing here is just half. And potential, uh, maybe you need it just for visualization pleasure. Uh, or maybe you just need it because you are short of uh, real estate in your uh, dashboard. Board. So I'm going to show you now step by step. Okay, so let's first start with how to do the vertical bar chart like what you see here. Um, to start with, this is our core data. So the business scenario is pretty straightforward. We have six departments and they each have a different performance multiplier. We can realize that in the bar chart, um, but we can also make it more fun, which is something like this. So let me park the chart here. To save our time, I'm not gonna like type in all the data. I've already got the data set up and prepared, but I'm gonna show you how I'm using them. So the first thing you need to do uh, when you have the data uh, table is to calculate how many degrees you need for the chart. So for example, I have six departments and uh, you know as a, for a semi-circle, it's 180 degrees. So what you need per, uh, what, like for each of the item, you would need 180 divided by six, which means that you need 30 degrees. So park that somewhere um, and then you create a new column you can call it degree and then have it run all the way from one, two, three, four, five until 181. And then you go back, create another column. Uh, let's say it's value one, it's essentially the performance multiplier. Put uh, one, start, uh, start with zero. And then from between one to 30, put 30 as zero because this is our first item. Um, and put everything in between to be your first value. So our value, you can see I'm using a, a cell reference. So let's say if I change this number to something else, my data changes automatically. So that's how I can also make it dynamic. And then this is set up. And then for the next 30 rows, uh, again, put the first one at zero and then put everything else here before number 60 the same as your second value. And then you do the same thing again and again. So you have uh, two zeros in between for each of the values and then it runs over until 180. And then for 181, it's another zero. So basically that's how you set up the bars. Um, val uh, this column, the column K value two is optional. So for example, the reason I put it here is that you can see um, I actually have a border for each of my bars. And the reason for that is I kind of want to show that 100% is at target. So if they are reaching at this bar, it means that uh, at this border, it means that they are at target. So for example, this department sales support is below target marketing below target, HR is over target, finance is over target. So that's what I choose to show my data um, more efficiently, uh, but it's not required. You don't have to show that. So let's say if we choose to show that, the, the way you do it is let's say you choose 100 as your uh, target. You can uh, basically copy the same number down for all the rows except for the rows where you have zero. So for the zeros, you can copy it down all to 100 and then for all the rows where you have zeros in column K, copy them down as zero so, so that um, they have the same border. Okay, so now the data is set up. Let's go ahead and create our data. Actually, one, one more step is that we still need to fulfill all our degrees up to uh, 360 degrees. Um, you don't have to fill anything for your value here. Okay, so now let's go back to our values and then let's select 
our value one and a value two, all the way down to 360. Uh, and then go for insert, recommended chart or charts, go to Rata, and then here we go. So that's the one that we choose to show. Okay, so let's go all the way up. So this is the prototype for our chart. So as you can see, uh, right now it's showing two borders um, with colors that we don't like. So now we can go ahead to do our second step, which is formatting. So let's say I choose to format this color to be uh, blue. I choose to have make it lighter. And then for my for for my in value one bars, I choose to have it filled. So you select the bar, you see you select the bar and then go to chart design, change chart type for your value one, change from radar to field radar. And then okay, cool. So now it's filled. Okay, cool. So now we have done uh, the chart itself. Uh, we can clean up the data a little bit. For example, we don't need the label, so select the label and then just delete it. Uh, and we have a neater chart. We don't need the legend. Uh, we don't need the chart title for now. So that's that. Uh, we can keep everything else just for now. And then now the third step is to go ahead and create the labels. So in order to create the labels, uh, it's actually the same method as the wing rows chart that I did, which is that you actually need to uh, create some helper columns and then um, use a sound, uh, use a donor chart. So before you do anything in the chart, you need to create a helper column. And uh, here I will show you wh why this is so. Each, for each of the helper column for item, it's 30 degrees, which is the, exactly the same as what you just calculated. And then after all the 30, you have a 180 degree, which is basically the other half of the chart. So you have that part here, that's okay. And then next thing, you go ahead and create the labels. So this is actually the task that you wanna show in each of the labelings. So for example, I choose to show both the department name and the performance multiplier. And then you can see this is my formula to uh, create that tax. And then I copy my cell down to create it. Okay, so that's after that's created, park it. And then let's go back to our chart select anywhere in the chart and then go select data add for add um, i want to add a label or you can just type in as label like both are fine and then for your series value go ahead and choose this make sure you select 180 and then after you select it go okay you're not gonna see much change in your chart, that's okay. Go back to your chart, select it again, and then go to chart design, change chart type. Now you have label, and then change your label into a donor chart. Okay, so this is the donor chart that we just created. Uh, let's now further format it. For example, I. I don't want this part to be this large, so I'm gonna shrink the hole. Uh, oh, actually, shrink it by this. And then I don't want this part, I, I want it to be invisible, so I'm gonna select, um, well, I, can, I should only select this half, make sure I only select this half and then make it no fill. Okay, cool, so then um, it's, Good. It's showing good. And then I also noticed that uh, this part is, is having some overlap with my chart. I don't want that, which means that I need to make my index a bit um, uh, bigger. So that so so the next step is to create uh, select the rate access, go to um, access options. Now the maximum is 120. 
let you know what let's change it to 150 so this way um, the part that you're gonna write your label is not gonna be affecting your actual chart okay so now um, they're not there's no overlap uh, that's good let's select each of those uh, fields for from the donor chart and then just fill it with color and then you can so now you can see all my um, areas for the labeling is created now I can actually go ahead uh, to to remove my access I noticed that it's showing negative 10 again um, I don't want that so I'm gonna override it to zero okay and then now um, it's selected we can just delete it we don't need it for now just delete and then we can select the grid line we don't need it now let's just delete it okay so now um, the last step was is to add the labels to our chart area so select the donor chart add data label it's going to show something like this by default that's okay let's go to uh, label options label options um, what you do is to choose value from cell so the cell range that you're going to select is this label range that we just collected uh, just uh, created and then now with this created you don't need the value so unselect that uh, you don't need the little lead line as well you can choose to have it but you don't need it for my purpose uh, and then now let's just format our label okay so this is basically it so now my last step uh, before I go into the dashboard is to remove my border label and then just copy this chart and then move it to my dashboard so you can see that the actual chart because it's only half um, of a full circle it's going to have a uh, blank space so on the dashboard in excel if you want it to be visually more pleasant you can choose to create um, like a square or a triangle and then hide the part um, that's blank so that the chart that you're gonna have is gonna show like this um, on your dashboard right so that's how we can create the vertical one um, alternatively there's one variation that you could also possibly uh, do is that for, for example this one um, the border is exactly overlapping with um, the actual data you can also choose to have just a semi circle line across uh, to show your target value so to do that the only uh, basically the only difference you need to change is that remember for our value 2 we have all the zeros which is the same as our value 1 you simply just remove those zeros and then you simply just um, keep only the first degree um, as 0 and then degree 180 as uh, 181 as 0 and everything within it is 100 and then this is how this chart is going to look like and now let's move on to how to do the horizontal version of it so the good thing with that is we, ac we can actually start from the vertical one that we just did so assume that this is um, we have already done that uh, we don't need to change the data drastically and we can basically start from here so the key point for changing it from vertical to horizontal is that you have to think of the grade uh, the degrees that uh, that's going to be um, visible and the degrees that's going to be uh, hidden so for example just think of a vertical one um, it's going to show degree from uh, 270 all the way to zero or like 360 and then it's going to show from zero to 90 degrees so that's the only thing that's different from this chart so for this vertical um, chart we are showing from degree zero to 180 right okay so keep that in mind and let's come back to this chart so what does that mean it means that 
we still have the same data set, but we need to move the reference from the degrees, which means that um, if we want to rotate it anti-clockwise, counterclockwise 90 degrees, just imagine how it looks. We need to shift, for example, the cell support to uh, degree 200, 270, and then we need to move finance, for example, from degree 180 to 90. So this is how we're gonna do it. Like we can just keep the data exactly the same, but select from degree one all the way to degree 90. Cut it and then move down, 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 down to 270 uh, or 271, paste it. So it's gonna go all the way down to 360. And then go back to here. So here you still have data from degree 90 to 180, right? Or 181, it's okay. Save, uh, cut it and then paste it to degree one. Okay. So you can see basically once you finish that change, your chart is automatically rotated to exactly where you want. Uh, however, the tricky thing is that look at the donor chart, it, it's a different chart. So it doesn't rotate the same way as us, but that's okay because once you select the donor chart, you will see the serial options on the right. And for the angle of your first slice, instead of zero, type in 270 and voila, you will have this chart in the same format as uh, in the vertical format as you want in the dashboard. And then when you copy the chart into the dashboard, uh, it's gonna be the same because you're gonna have like the, uh, the bottom half that's empty. And this is where you might still need an empty square in your um, dashboard just to hide it so that you, you are only highlighting the chart area that you need. Okay, so this is how I was able to create those two circular bar charts, um, and I hope that you will find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment, and I will talk to you very soon.